I didn't put any pressure expectations and I think all these beautiful magical things happened as a result of that. And I also feel like because I'm fully listening to my body more than I ever have in my life, that is what I call full embodiment, right? When you're fully listening to your body, I'm I'm embodied, right? I'm embodied in, in the energy that I want to attract. Welcome, Badass Manifester. I am so glad you are here. I'm your host and head coach, Ashley Gordon, master mindset and manifestation biz expert, founder of the Quantum Coaching Certification, and multiple six-figure entrepreneur obsessed with empowering you to create quantum leaps in your energy, your life, and your business. This is the show to help you make magic your everyday normal where the ripple effect is real, and the guest experts are world class. My mission is to power your conscious and subconscious mind with manifestation teachings, business tools, and coaching techniques to put your potential into action. Consider this your weekly up level. Are you ready for quantum transformation? Let's do this. What's up, Badass Manifestors? I'm coming at you today with a solo episode. And let me just tell you, the lineup this month for the podcast is so, so good. I'm so excited. Um, Next week's guest is going to be Ashley Easter, and she's going to help you understand your intuition on a deeper level and like really give some science behind intuition. She is awesome. She's a past client of mine, and... The next episode is going to be about creating your business around your dream lifestyle and really building in breaks into your schedule and into your business so that you can really have the freedom that you want. And then on June 27th, we're going to be doing a Pride cast. I'm so excited. Uh, June is Pride month. So I have two of the most amazing people who are going to educate and share their message um, all about just allyship and awareness is going to be so beautiful um, with Jenna and Brie Bird. So I'm pumped about this lineup for June. And today we're going to talk about a little bit of a launch recap for QCA. Um, I have obviously never launched pregnant before, so this was a first. And there were some mindset shifts that I had to make that I think would be helpful for you, even if you're not pregnant, just to be able to implement into your next launch. So we're just going to dive right in. This is going to be short, sweet, to the point. Um, You know, we have such a solid launch process. I learned everything about launching from Taylor Slango. She was my coach for a whole year. She has a launch program called Five Figure Flow. I'll link it up in the show notes for you guys. This is not to promote her program, but I, I am an affiliate for it because I believe in it. And it's literally changed the way that we launch, which means like I'm not really worried about you know, the details of the launch anymore, right? Like there, you know, I get to focus my energies on connecting with people, which is what I do best. And so, you know, all of the details, all of the little things like the Facebook covers and this and that artwork and, you know, how to send this email and that email, like everything is done. Everything's been done. It's such a rinse and repeat process that we just constantly refine And um, as we grow, I can just go back through Five Figure Flow and kind of grow, that that program kind of grows with us. And I mean, it's phenomenal. I can't say enough about it, but that's really how we got like the nuts and bolts of our launches down. And I feel like once you have the structure of your launches down, you know, how long you're promoting things for? How long do you promote the free thing for? Like we know how to do this like the back of our hand. We're, We're pretty amazing at launching. And someone recently asked me like, oh, like you're so good at launching. Do you want to teach launching? And I'm like, no. First of all, I learned it all from Taylor, like I said, and from trial and error before I, you know, met Taylor. I was launching before then, but that really streamlined everything. And then, um, you know, just because you're good at something and this is for you, like for you, if you want to launch 50 different programs, Just because you're good at something, it doesn't mean you have to teach it. It doesn't mean you have to sell it, right? And we're going to talk more about that when we talk about, 
you know, creating your lifestyle around your business because that's going to be a big topic in that conversation. But yeah, I just want to echo what I just said. Just because you're good at it doesn't mean you have to sell it. Anyway, we're really good at launching. Um, and I'm really grateful for that. Our team has it down pat. And so my um, my energy this launch was obviously very different because I was coming out of my first trimester and honestly I felt like I wasn't able to show up the way that I really wanted to show up and the way that I visualized myself showing up because I was just so truly tired like so 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 tired and I decided that it was okay it's okay if I don't show up the way that I want to show up it's not going to have an impact on the launch and when I was at the retreat the quantum up level retreat that I hosted I was having a conversation with Katie Farrow shout out to you and we were just talking about like the the zero effort launch and I'm like okay this is the mentality that I want to take into this season of like minimal effort like minimal minimal effort meaning like obviously my team is you know doing a lot of things where they're efforting but for me energetically like I want to do the bare minimum and still create a huge impact and a huge launch. So what needs to be adjusted in my energy to be able to do that? And so I gave myself permission to listen to my body fully the entire launch. And so what ended up happening was a lot of napping, uh, less content creation. I created way less reels than I usually do. I wasn't in my creative flow like I usually am. I didn't do, um, every launch I do uh, Coach School Saturday, which is like a live event where I get collect a lot of questions from, from my community about coaching and I didn't do that. Um, I usually host two Q&As, one for the waitlist and one for you know the public and I didn't do two, I just did one. So I gave myself permission to listen to what I truly felt called to do And what a beautiful gift I gave myself because I wasn't putting pressure on myself. And what that created was an energy of detachment in the launch. And so when people, even people were asking me like, how's the launch? How's the launch going? How's the launch going? I learned from my friend Catherine, Manifestation Babe. One time I asked her how her, I didn't say how's your launch going, but I was complimenting her. I was like, oh my God, you had so many people live with you. Like, I'm so proud of you. And she's like, yeah, I don't, I don't even like, I don't even focus on that at all during my launch. Like I am so new. She's so neutral in her energy when she's launching. And I really borrowed that resource from her of like, I don't, when someone asks me how the launch is going, I'm literally going to tell them that like, I don't even, I'm not even thinking about that right now. That's not even on my radar, right? So ultimately, like what I feel is necessary in order to manifest a powerful launch and a successful, quote unquote, successful launch um, is to set your intention well before the launch ever happens. And that's what my team and I did this time. So to recap, something that I've never done before with the team is we actually had a meeting specifically around how many students we feel like we have the capacity to hold in this container. And each of us went around and shared their thoughts on it and how many students they felt like we wanted to energetically hold and call in for the container. So we set the launch intentions well before the launch ever happened. And I feel like that gave us a really good foundation um, to create from together. And so you know, when you're a solo partner and you're the one that's like running the show, um, yeah, you might not have that conversation with your team. And it's interesting because like even though I haven't been the one running the show for a long time, I'm no longer the only one running the show at all. Like I'm not, I'm not the only one holding the container. There's multiple people holding the container. So it's not just my goal of how many students I want to call in or my intention. It's how many students do we want to hold together. And we had a realistic goal, a, a stretch goal, and a really stretch goal. And so, you know, we're still in launch. Like the, the, the applications have technically closed, but we still have a lot of application calls ahead of us and we're still very much in it. 
But I, I wanted to share some of these energetics with you as a recap because I know a lot of you are going into launch season or you will be going into launch season and I think it'll help. So setting the goal way beforehand, but then being totally neutral and totally detached while it's happening. You know, on the days where no one buys or on the days where no applications come through, what are you making it mean? Are you attaching anything to that? I didn't because I fully trust. I fully trust the right people are coming through into this container. I fully trust that every single person that's meant to be in QCA will be in QCA, you know? And we do still enroll after, you know, applications close, people reach out, and we, we allow them, if it feels right, to come and apply. And, you know, sometimes that happens too. There's plenty of time. That's something I learned from Taylor is like there's so much time in a launch. And people have this fear around, oh, but if the cart's only open for a short period of time or if applications are only open for a short period of time, you know, what if that's not long enough? And there's plenty of time. You know, people need a window to make a decision in. They can't just have, you know, an unlimited window. And so uh, that's another shift that I made is like there's plenty of time. And I was totally detached. We already had the intention set. And so um, something else that happened, I believe, because of the detachment was we, I manifested uh, press. I manifested being in Forbes which was so cool. It was such an amazing, amazing opportunity that was presented and I was quoted in Forbes, which was freaking amazing. And it wasn't just me, it was also the Quantum Coaching Academy. And so I think that that just was such a like confirmation and affirmation that like this zero effort, bare minimum energy of like, you know, I'm enough, I am doing enough and I'm listening to my body and doing whatever I feel I need to do in the moment, whether that was go for a walk or take a nap or not work on one of the days that we were launching. Um, I didn't put any pressure expectations and I think all these beautiful magical things happened as a result of that. And I also feel like because I'm fully listening to my body more than I ever have in my life, that is what I call full embodiment, right? When you're fully listening to your body, I'm, I'm embodied, right? I'm embodied in, in the energy that I want to attract. And so that was another thing. I didn't, I, I didn't push myself. There was no force in this launch. And I think that's the point of like bare minimum energy for me was like there was zero forcing. So my question to you is how can you get yourself in a place of zero force, of zero pressure, of fully trusting of fully knowing that the right people are going to find you, the right people are going to come into your container. And I'm not saying like, you know, post one thing and run away for the whole launch. No, I still had my social media team, you know, preparing posts and I was, you know, writing captions, but I wasn't doing it in a frantic energy. I was doing it in a very complete energy. I was doing it in a very like, I'll get to that energy I'll, uh, I was doing it from a place of just like just zero like a zero point energy I wasn't hype I wasn't low I wasn't I just was I was just being and so I think that like launching can definitely um you know make your nervous system a little wacky and I feel like I really regulated my nervous system by listening to my body and what I need and what I needed and it made a huge difference for me uh this launch and I think it also impacts your team you know what I mean if you have a team of people that are working with you they can feel your energy they can feel when you're nervous or they can feel when you're anxious or they can feel when you're worried about money or they can feel when you're you know whatever high vibe like they can feel it all and I think it all plays a really important role in the results that come through and the manifestation that happens so yeah it's been really interesting an interesting experiment for sure Um, I definitely felt very in flow and allow and just really allowed myself to 
go with the flow of how I feel. And so try this on in some shape, way, or form. Set your intention beforehand. You know, prepare your launch. Be ahead of schedule so that you don't have to stress out that things aren't getting done. I think that was a lot of the stress, you know, in the beginning of my my early launch days was like, you know, I had to write emails and I had to write this and I had to do that and I had to reach out. And, you know, now that everything is super set and super solid in our in our actual like systems of launching, I can be creative. I can do the reels. I can talk to people in the DMs. Like I can have, you know, fun on application calls and allow myself more space. That's another thing is I used to do every single application call and now Jenna who is one of the head facilitators of QCA, she takes on some of the application calls and it's been a huge gift for me. But not only that, just for the students to get to know her too on the application calls because her and I literally facilitate, you know, all the calls together. And so I think it's important for her to be, you know, known by the students as well. So that was also a huge um, release of control. And so that's what I wanted to end with is, I think my biggest takeaway is that I released a lot of control that I used to have on launching and I used to have in my business. And my goal being pregnant and becoming a mom is to start to release more and more and more control so that I have more and more and more flexibility and freedom and spaciousness. And where there's spaciousness, there's magic. And that's the truth. Where there's space, there's magic. And so even if you're not in a launch season or maybe you're in a busy season, but you're not launching, ask yourself, how can I create more space so that I can create more magic? Because it's really in the stillness and in the flow that the magic happens. And that is the truth. It's not when we're doing, 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 controlling, controlling, trying to make it all happen. It's when we, when we sit still. So how can you sit still and get more into the flow? That's the recap. As of right now, I hope you enjoyed this episode. Super pumped for this month. We've got a lot of fun things happening. I'm also going to be part of a bundle. It's going to be insane. I don't have all the details yet, but there's going to be like 40 plus creators, 40 plus courses, and I believe it's going to be, you know, uh, under $200 if not $100 so there's going to be a ton of courses available it's like that that thing I did a couple years ago the bundle co where there was 111 courses for I think it was like $99 or something so uh, look out for that that's going to be epic and I'm sending you so much love happy memorial day if you live in the U.S. of A it's definitely been Um, a really, really heavy time with the mass shooting at Robb Elementary. And I want to acknowledge that, um, you know, that's, you know, that is unbelievable. Like, it is awful. And something really needs to fucking change in our country. Um, And... I posted this on my story, but it just it just feels like the only safety that exists is the safety that we create within ourselves and cultivate within ourselves. And so I hope that you take some time to cultivate that safety for yourself and for your families. So sending so much love out into the ethers for everyone impacted near and far from this tragic, tragic, awful, disgusting event that occurred. And may we pray together that our government makes some serious changes to alleviate a problem that never needed to happen in the first place. On that note, sending you all so much love. As always, take care of yourselves, take care of your hearts, and I'll see you next week. Woo! We did some work today. Thank you so much for listening. You know I love my BAM fam. If this episode resonated with you, please share it with someone who you know would love it too because we live for the ripple effect over here. And how can you best support the show? 
Make sure you're subscribed, hit the five stars, and leave a review on iTunes and let me know how the podcast has impacted you. I love being part of your real-time journey, so screenshot the episode and tag me and my guests on Instagram at Manifest with Ash. Now say it with me. I am my own power source. I am the master of my own energy, and I deserve everything that I desire. We don't just talk about it over here. We be about it. Now go get them.